Mount Holy Union capitalized, scoring a massive victory, becoming number one contenders. And in the aftermath of all this, there were major issues between the tag champs and damage control. That one's gonna run and run, but for now, the Unholy Union looking to make good on earning this opportunity at Tag Gold right now. You know, they were dethroned only nine days ago, Bash in Berlin, and now the rubber match comes right back against Jade and Bianca, the champs again. A storm <laughs> is coming. Tell you what, Joe, when I first set eyes on Jade Cargill, I didn't think anything could make her look better. I was wrong. The addition of championship gold around her waist really sets off the entire package. And having the EST as your partner. And their opponents. Ago it was Bianca Belair who was the unintended target of Kyrie Sane when I was on pulled her into the path of action and now she can deal with unholy union directly on heated rubber match at the highest level of tag team action. Well, you mentioned this is the rubber match, Joe. You're absolutely right. Here's the difference: Belair and Cargill beat the unholy union at Bash in Berlin straight up two against two tag match. However. When the Unholy Union dethroned the champs, they didn't pin them, they didn't submit them. It was in triple threat action. And That's that right. hangs over the heads of the Unholy Union. They have never truly beaten Belair and Cargill. They have to fix that tonight. They have to win this matchup straight up against a team that may be unbeatable. That is a great point. That was the triple threat that happened at Clash at the Castle in Scotland. The loss result of Isla Dawn stealing Cargill's pinfall would be victory over Shayna Baszler. <laughs> Bianca, a great athleticism. Bella from the off, showing every ounce of confidence possible, but she's in there with a true vet in Alba Fire, who's got some moves of her own. off to a good start now here comes Jade who's been gathering weight a lot of confidence in facing this team in fact even in singles action against the crafty fire remember it was a month ago on Smackdown she defeated fire had a victory on Smackdown then did Jade very few weaknesses in the arsenal of the champs however if they had to pick one it would be the inexperience of Jade Cargill who's simply getting better Every time we watch her, thanks to the influence of the veteran on her team, Bianca Belair. And I think it's a perfect pairing at this stage of her career. Yes, inexperience, but unmatched power and athleticism. Well, that was smart from the Unholy Union. Try to distract Jade Cargill and pounce, but it simply wasn't enough. Look at this strength as she sends Dawn down. And now Fire wants a piece. Getting in the way of Jay Cargill proves to be a bad move for every woman in the division. I was going able to get out of the way for a moment and then slamming Jade into that top turnbuckle. That was perhaps Jay Cargill getting a little too overconfident. Listen to this audience. A rush of blood to the head. Overcommitted, made a mistake, and did not see this tag here. Now the fire coming in and taking down that knee, and then a boot to the head from Dawn. Fire is the legal member of the team. There's the cover, hook of the leg. And Jade able to kick out. And that once again is the unholy union capitalizing on the inexperience of Jade Cargill. And now Bianca Belair knows her championship reign may be in danger if this continues.
it over desperately for that tag. And she gets it. Damage already done to the leg of Cargill, but now the far fresher Belair in there. Showing up and showing out. The drop kick from Bianca Belair. And a vertical suplex. EST style. Having a little too much fun with gold on the line, but if it works, it works. Big shoulder coming into that corner. Look at that! Constantly an eye on the second member of the Unholy Union. Double cross body from Bianca Belair. Well, Belair might win this in a row at this point. She is in complete control. Moonsault off the ropes, hook of the leg, and a kick out Bianca by Isla Dawn. Belair, a woman who has won it all here in WWE, but simply has an insatiable hunger to keep on achieving. KOD possibility. Dawn's got that top rope, so she's able to manage things. There was a tag in there from Alba Fire. And now it's Bianca Belair who might be on the wrong side of the tracks, but no, turns it around once again. And now Belair going to climb up and meet Fire. Just a stunning performance thus far from Bianca Belair. As Fire and Dawn clinging on for dear life. You got, got her locked up there. You got to think if Fire and Dawn don't win here, it may be a long time till they get another championship opportunity. Double team power bomb. That might do it. There's the pin. And a kick out. Man, that was 2.9. And the former champs on Holy Union know how close they just came to recapture in the gold. You see the glory, the gold off to the side here, the Women's World Championship. Looking for the combo suplex of Bianca Belair. Jade saves it. The growing teamwork between Cargill and Bianca Belair. The longer they're together, the better they get as a duo. Nearly jaded, but a super kick comes in from Alba Fire. This one's completely breaking down now. Schoolboy, roll up. Fire, looking to take control against Bel Air. Able to get the tag. This is how they won last. Their last championship. Combo move, hook of the leg to win the championship, and Jade comes flying in from out of the corner. Well, that had to happen from Jade Cargill. That gory special face buster right there is how they've beaten every opponent they pinned. It would have taken Belair out. It would have been new tag champs here, but Jay Cargill got it just right. But now Bianca Belair alone hurting in a bad way. Got a tenuous grip on those tag titles. Bianca trying to fight back. She slams Dawn into the post. Built Bianca Belair tougher than most. Is it going to be enough to ride through? And now Cargill's back in. And Belair needed that. Instant relief as Jade comes powering in with the big leg. Massive pump kick to the jaw of Alba Fire. Isla Dawn down. Isla oh. Dawn out. Combo move. This is what they've been doing best as Jade with the cover. They threw everything but the kitchen sink at Belair and Cargill. It simply wasn't enough. And as the weeks go by, this duo gets better and better. And the question hangs, who on earth can take those championships from Belair and Cargill? They may well be unstoppable. Yeah, Jade Cargill gets better and better.